All right, guys, I'm gonna clean up the lens, I'm gonna get started. All right, what's up, everyone? Today's Monday YouTube Live day. Yesterday was the Super Bowl, so congrats to the Rams for winning the Super Bowl. Uh, I bet on some stuff at the Super Bowl. I bet on the coin toss to be tails. I lost that. I bet on the Rams to win straight up. I won that. And I bet on the Gatorade to be blue, and I won that too. So, feeling pretty good, right? So let me kind of talk about uh, some market action, market sentiment right now, and then I'm gonna get into the topic of why 90% of traders fail. So this is being recorded on February 14th. Today's Valentine's Day. So if you didn't get your girl something for Valentine's Day, she's gonna whoop your ass, all right? So anyway, point is guys that the market right now has been very, very slow, okay? So the reason why it's been slow is you guys have to realize that for two years, okay, all of 2020 and all of 2021, we had the craziest market action I've ever seen in my entire life because there was so much dumb, uneducated money entering the market that, hey, trading became easy, became the coolest job in the world. Number one was OnlyFans, number two was trading, right? And after two years, 24 months of crazy action, how can it not be normal that one or two months are dead slow? right? If you have 24 months straight of action, it makes sense to have two months of slow action. The problem is most traders that have entered the market in 2020 or 2021 have never seen what a slow market cycle has been like. I have just come up on my eight year trading anniversary in February. February is my eight year trading anniversary. And in my eight years of trading, I have seen slower markets than this. It's called the summer. The summer is historically three, four months of slow, dead action, guys. So I've been seeing a lot of people just crying all the time. Oh my God, the market sucks. I can't make money. This is horrible. This is terrible. What should I do? How can I fix this? I'm so depressed. I'm so sad. I have no money anymore, blah, blah, blah. And my advice for you is stop bitching, stop moaning. The market fucking sucks right now. Okay, it sucks. I get it. It sucks for me too. But you crying, you complaining, you being depressed, you being sad is not going to fucking change anything, right? It's not going to change anything. So what you have to realize, guys, the market moves in cycles. I've been saying this for fucking years now, it seems like years. There's going to be a cycle where the market is hot. There's going to be a cycle where the market's cold. There's going to be a cycle where crypto's hot. There's going to be a cycle where it's cold. There's going to be a cycle where NFTs are hot. There's going to be a cycle where it's cold. The world works in cycles, okay? So right now, we are experiencing a slow market cycle. And that is leading to a lot of people complaining. I get it. By this time last year, I was already probably up a quarter million dollars on the year. This year so far, I'm probably break even, right? And that's okay. That's acceptable, right? This, this is the fucking business, okay? Just because I made millions of dollars last year, I made $3 million last year, does not mean I'm going to make 10, 20, 100 million dollars this year. The reason traders make money is based on opportunity, okay? I said this in last week's video. If there is 100 opportunities in 2021, and one opportunity in 2022, chances are in 2021, I'm gonna make 100 times more money. It's the same thing. Right now in 2022, there has not been many opportunities. Because there's not have been many opportunities, it's been very hard for us to make money, okay? And now, that doesn't mean, okay, when the next opportunity plays, I'm gonna use 100 times my size to make up for it. It just means, guys, that we are in a cycle where you have to preserve your money. You have to kiss and hug your money because it's very easily being destroyed and burned away in the market action. So I have a lot of people crying to me, right? Every day they're crying to me. Oh my God, the market sucks. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? I'm listening to people on Twitter and I'm losing money from people listening to Twitter. Like, come on guys, it's, it's, this, is, this is normal, okay? So if you find yourself struggling in this market cycle, size the fuck down. If you find yourself struggling in this market cycle, go take a vacation. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm taking a vacation tomorrow, okay? I'm going to Miami for a week tomorrow because I wanna clear my head. I don't wanna fucking think about trading. Trading has been choppy, trading has been annoying. I even took a loss today. Okay, big deal, so what? So what I like to do, guys, what I like to do is I'm not going to sit here and bitch and moan. I'm going to tell you the market sucks. I'm not going to tell you I'm fucking depressed forever. I'm not going to tell you I'm going through a midlife crisis. What I'm going to tell you guys, I need a fucking trip, okay? I want to clear my head. I want to go on a vacation. Maybe for you, you want to go skiing. Maybe for you, you want to go fishing. Maybe for you, you want to find a side chick. Maybe for you, you want to go outside and run. I don't know what's going to help you guys, but in this market cycle, I'm trying to focus on mindfulness. I'm trying to focus on fixing my brain because my brain right now is getting mis miswired, okay? 
My brain is telling me, you stupid fuck, sit here and try to make money. When in reality, my brain should be telling me, my logic should be telling me, the market is slow, so use that time to focus on yourself. Because when the market is hot, we have no time for friends, we have no time for family, we have no time for ourselves. So instead of crying and bitching and moaning and saying, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know, use this time to focus on yourself. Use this time to pamper yourself. I look like a fucking homeless terrorist, okay? I haven't fucking left my house, right? And that the reason why is because I've been so focused on trading and working when I think I need a fucking vacation, okay? I need a vacation, just clear my head. So for you guys in MIC, not in MIC, whatever, tomorrow I'm going on vacation for a week. I'll be back Sunday. I don't know if I'm gonna be trading. I'll probably be trading here and there a little bit, but I wanna just get away, man. I need to I need to just go see the sun. I need to go relax a little bit. I just need to get away from the slow snow, whatever. Okay, that's how I'm fixing my brain. So don't be afraid. Don't be upset that the market cycle sucks right now. 90% of traders are losing money right now. 90% of traders that um, made money in 2022, 2021, uh, and then 2020 and 2021 are losing it right now. For 24 months, they were making money, and in one month, they lost it all, right? So don't be one of those guys, okay? Don't be one of those guys. For me, I've sized down dramatically because I want to fucking kiss my money. I made millions of dollars last year, and there's no fucking way in hell that I'm risking any of that money. A very smart man once told me, you only need to get rich once. And once you're rich, do not fucking waste it. And for all of you guys that made money in 20, 2020 and 2021, you got rich. Now, don't fuck it up gambling on some random shit. You want to gamble? Gamble on the Super Bowl like me, okay? I risk hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, on certain setups in the stock market. And on my sports betting, I risk 200 bucks. I pay more of that in commissions. I pay more of that in locate. So always live within your means, guys. So that's kind of my rant on the current market action. If you're crying, if you're bitching, if you're moaning, if you're saying that you're going through a midlife crisis, fuck you. You had 24 months of green action. You had 24 months of making money. And so what? Two months you're losing money. Big fucking deal. If you cry, no one's going to care. If you bitch, no one's going to care. If you're fucking depressed, I'm sorry. No one gives a shit. You just have to realize that this is normal. This is how the market works. This is how it is designed to work because the more emotional, the more depressed, the more fucked up you get in your head, the more irrational trades you're gonna take, the more stupid trades you're gonna take, the more fucking money you're gonna lose, and all of a sudden it's gonna go into the hands of the people that are patient and wanting to slowly make money. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, now that my rant on the market is over, I wanna mention one more thing until uh, we continue going. So I've been recording more lifestyle content, day in the life, vlogs, day trading, where you guys follow me around, watch my trades, travel, all that stuff. So a lot of people wanna see more lifestyle content, so probably this weekend, I'm gonna release my first lifestyle video. It's pretty much gonna be a day in the life where you guys get to follow me around and look at my trading and see how I trade. I was trading UVXY, I was trading Tesla, I was talking about NFTs, long-term investing, all that stuff. So be on the lookout later this week. I'm gonna make some more lifestyle videos, and if you guys like it, I'll make it weekly. If you guys hate it and tell me to fuck off, I'll fuck off. So I just wanna try something different, try to make this educational stuff a little bit more fun because kind of boring learning about this stuff, but the boring stuff makes you money. So anyway, let's get into today's topic. Why do 90% of traders fail, okay? After eight years of trading, after eight years, I found out why 90% of traders fail, okay? I'm gonna give you a bunch of reasons why, and then let me know if this sounds like you. Number one, 90% of traders fail because they think it's as easy as buying someone's alert, right? When I first started trading, I thought that the fastest way to make money was to follow somebody and follow their alerts. If I had to pay them $1,000 and I can make $5,000 from it, I would be fucking rich, right? That's what I learned. I learned that if you start following someone else's alerts, you have to remember that they are on a delay. They are scamming you. They are getting in hours, maybe even fucking days ahead of time before they pump it to you, okay? 
So number one reason why people fail is because they look for some sort of guru to tell them where to buy and where to sell. And what they fail to realize, the guru's getting in an hour early and selling an hour before you fucking find out. They're on a delay, they're on whatever bullshit. So number one is do not ever follow someone else's alerts. That's the, the number one reason why traders fail. Number two reason why traders fail is because they have no strategy. They are gambling. Just like I am sports betting, I know that is gambling, okay? I know. How the fuck am I going to know that the Gatorade is going to be blue? Is it because I did data and I said, all right, the last five times it was blue and I'm going to do the team's colors are blue and the sky is blue and my moon shaman told me the blue sun is whatever the fuck it is? No, I'm gambling and I know I'm gambling on sports betting. But in the market, in the market, I know that there's certain strategies and certain setups that have a high probability and high percentage of winning. The problem is when most people start, they don't have a strategy. They don't know what they're doing. They're just fucking throwing darts, right? They're throwing darts because they don't know. They don't know a strategy that works. So people spend a lot of time just trading random shit and random strategies that they don't even know that works, right? So when I start to find a strategy that worked for me, whether it be a first red day, whether it be a shorting into resistance, whether it even be the zombie rule, which is a pattern, my trading started to excel. Okay, my trading started to excel. So if you do not have a strategy, if you're just winging it every morning, if you're waking up five minutes before the market's open and you're seeing what the top percentage gainer is and you're trying to buy the percentage gainer, you're probably going to get dumped on. You're probably going to lose money. You're probably not going to make money. So if you don't have a strategy in the market, that's another reason why traders fail. Okay, let's say you don't follow chat room alerts and let's say you have a strategy. Is that enough? The answer is no, because now what ends up happening is you are oversizing. You are going full size, all in. I'm going to fucking mortgage my house on every single setup that there is. So the problem is after you ignore the chat room alerts, after you have a strategy that works, the problem is that you guys are oversizing into stocks, okay? Let's say 1,000 shares is your max size. You're going 1,000 shares here, 1,000 shares there, 1,000 shares here, 1,000 shares there. The problem is, guys, in the stock market, again, it is based on opportunity or it's based on the setup, right? If there is a stock here that doesn't have a high probability of working, let's say it has a 50% chance of working, it's a coin flip. Let's say, let's say you're gambling on earnings. Let's say you're trying to buy Netflix earnings. Netflix earnings is a 50-50, okay? It's gonna either go up or it's either gonna fucking go down. Who knows? That's one gamble setup. But if you have something like a first red day where 90% of the time, if it fits that criteria and fits that pattern, 90% of the time it's gonna make money. Would you rather go all in on the 90% setup or would you go 50, I mean all in on the 50% setup? That's the problem guys. A lot of people are going all in on the bullshit setups and not going all in on the hot setups. They're going all in on everything. And that's a mistake that I first made when I first started to, I thought every setup was a full size setup. How can I get full size on this? How can I get full size on that? And as I've matured, as I've grown, as I've gotten older in this trading journey, I learned that full size reserve for the best setups only. Today I lost a KSCP. Okay, I lost on it. I lost like 30 cents a share. But what I did is I only used 30% size. Okay, so I purposely sized down because that to me was a 50-50. That was a 50-50 setup for me. So if, because that's a 50-50 setup for me, I'm not gonna fucking go 1 million shares in. I'm not gonna short fucking millions of dollars worth on a 50-50 setup. But you better believe I'm okay risking a few thousand dollars. That's just my risk tolerance. I'm okay losing a thousand dollars on that trade just to try it, even if it's a 50-50. But you better believe if I have a first red day setup, I cannot fucking bulldoze in enough. I go all in, full size, 100% buying power. Can you give me more buying power? No, fuck you. That's how much I go in on my fucking 100% setups. Because I know after eight years of my strategy and my setups, I know if I see a first red day, I cannot go big enough, okay? So because I can't go big enough on those setups, why would I ever risk millions of dollars on a 50% setup? So that is another reason why traders fail. They go all fucking in on that random setup. Random, random, okay? So the point is, guys, the point is, be very mindful with your size. Sizing is a, it's a privilege, okay? It's a privilege. So you wait specifically, specifically for those A plus setups. I don't know, for you, for you, maybe an A plus setup is the death line. 
I don't know. I don't know. Let's say it's the death line. So if there's no death line, are you going to go 100% size on a long setup when you're a full short bias trader? Am I going to go 100% size on Forex or options just because I'm fucking bored? No, that's not where my edge is. That's not where I make money. So I'm not going to be risking big money on that shit, okay? So that's that's that, right? So there's chat room alerts, there's sizing, uh, there's strategy. Also, the another really, really big thing, guys, is fucking patience, okay? It took me years to get fucking rich, years. My first year trading, I lost money. My second year trading, I broke even. By my third year trading, I made money, okay? It took me three years. Me, a multi-millionaire trader, took me three years because I didn't have this. What you're seeing right now, I didn't fucking have. I had to lose money until I figured it out. So my biggest advice for you is if you are consistent, I don't care if it's fucking $100 a day, even $50 a day. If you can make $50 fucking dollars a day, you have the potential to make $50,000 a day. You know why? Because you are consistent. It does not matter the dollar amount that you are consistent when you are first starting. What matters is if you could be fucking consistent. Can you show up every day and pull out a profit in the market, even one fucking dollar? If you could pull out one fucking dollar every single day for maybe even a week or a month, then you have potential. But if you're up one day, down one day, up one day, down one day, up one day, down one day, you're probably doing something fucking wrong, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. It takes time to get fucking rich. If you want to build a multi-million dollar mansion, do you call your contractor and tomorrow he tells you, okay, the house is done, motherfucker. I laid out the foundation. I fucking got everything ready. I put the bathroom in there. I did the plumbing. I did this. Is it going to happen tomorrow? No, it's going to take time. It might even take a couple of years to build your dream mansion. So if your dream mansion is going to take a couple of years to build, how the fuck do you expect your dream trading career to be built tomorrow? It doesn't exist. Eight years in, bro. Eight fucking years in and now I'm rich. Now I'm fucking rich. And you better believe that I'm never going to risk it. I never want to be fucking broke again, okay? I never want to be fucking broke again. So what you guys have to realize is you have all the tools to be successful, right? You know what the fuck to do. But let's say you don't follow alerts. You have a strategy. You do proper sizing. Oh, my God. I'm only making $100 a day. How the fuck am I ever going to make money? I'm so fucked up. This sucks. $100. That doesn't even pay for my fucking steak dinner. How the fuck do they expect me to get rich? The point is, when you first start, when you first start, build your account. Okay? Build your fucking account. When I first started, you think I started with $50,000 days? You think I started with $1,000 days? I was the motherfucker that was making $100 a day for a year straight. A fucking year straight. If you do not have the ability to remain humble enough to make $100 a day for a year straight, then how the fuck do you expect to do this shit, man? How the fuck do you expect to do this? This is, this is the most competitive business in the world, okay? I don't care what the fuck anyone else says. I mean, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, good for you. It's a lot of hard work, but... Not to sound cocky, I make more fucking money than you, okay? Let's be real. I make more money than a doctor. I make more money than a lawyer. I make more money than an engineer. I make more money than your fucking side chick that got divorced. I make more money than most fucking people because this is the most competitive fucking business in the world. And because the most competitive business in the world, it is a very, 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 very tough business. Not physically demanding. I'm fucking physically out of shape, but mentally, mentally demanding, okay? So you have to do things that help your mental. You have to do things like take your vacations, take your time off, whatever the fuck it may be. Trading is hard, guys. Trading is fucking hard. That's why you can't believe all these people selling you a pipe dream, buy my alerts, buy my signals, buy my screen share, buy my voice alerts. I'm going to teach you how to be fucking rich. Most of the people fucking learning and doing all this shit are broke right now because they lost all their fucking money. Okay? So, I mean, guys, come on. I, I, I'm just trying. I just want you guys to understand that. You know, if this is a business that's going to make you a fucking multimillionaire, it's not going to be fucking easy. But I promise you, it's possible. I was a barista at Starbucks. I made fucking $200. Uh, no, I made $150 a week after taxes. After taxes. And here I am making fucking $150 a minute because of trading. So the point is, guys, 90%, it's 90, 95% of traders fail, right? They fail because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're treating it like gambling. Just like I was sports betting on the Super Bowl, they are gambling. Okay, I'm going to buy this fucking stock and it's going to go up. 
And if it doesn't go up, then fuck, the market sucks. Or I'm gonna buy this stuff. And I think it's gonna go up because the sky is blue, right? There's no strategy, there's no routine, there's no education. The market is designed to take uneducated money, dumb money, people that are fucking stupid, and put it in my pocket. Educated, hardworking, strategy, setup, size, okay? So just realize, guys, that this stuff is gonna take fucking time. It's not gonna be easy, but I promise you, if you are watching this video, if you are here right now, if you are subscribed to this channel, then you already have better chances than most people because this shit is fucking authentic. This shit is fucking real. I'm not gonna fucking shave my beard just to come on here. I'm gonna look homeless. I'm gonna look like a terrorist because this is what a fucking trader looks like. I'm not wearing a three-piece suit. I'm not fucking wearing any fucking Louis Vuitton right now. I'm wearing a t-shirt and fucking pants because this is what a trader looks like. We are lonely. We are in our office working all fucking day long, man. All day long. I'm here every day, even as a millionaire, working my ass off because I want to be able to be that person that I wish I had when I first started, right? I made fucking $3 million last year. The year before that, I made a million and a half dollars. I'm fucking good, bro. I'm fucking good. I don't need any more. I don't need any more, right? But I do this because... I wanna fucking help. And maybe I'm the dumbass that wants to help. Maybe that hopefully one, the point is I'm hoping that one day, something that I say triggers something in your brain that says, you know what bro, it's fucking time. I've been fucking around, I've been screwing around, I've been a goddamn motherfucking idiot gambling. I'm gonna take you seriously because now it's my turn to change my fucking life, guys. So do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Uh, nail and bail strategy. I found myself when I scalp and I take a loss, I want to get back in. Give yourself a rule of you can't get back in after five minutes of you taking a loss. That way you could go walk away for a little bit and not be as emotional. Thanks, guys. KSCP, yeah. So what I did on KSCP is I basically was shorting the $8 rejection and my plan was if it reclaimed and went over the high day that I would get out, it reclaimed, went over high day and I fucking got out. I it was a 50-50 setup. As I mentioned, I wasn't expecting the bank on it and that's why I only used 30% size. How do you know if you built bad habits without knowing it? Did you do any of the things that I mentioned? Are you following alerts? Are you trading a zombie times? Are you, do you not have a strategy? Are you oversizing into every stock? How does my mom feel about my swearing? She don't give a fuck because I spoil her rotten, motherfucker. She probably wishes I fucking curse more so she could keep getting spoiled. Fucking dumb ass. Would you sell if you're down 70% on an investment? I mean, guys, I'm not gonna give you investment advice. That is not my business. But if you're down 70% on something, chances are you're probably wrong on it. <laughs> Wear Lambo. <laughs> uh, any intraday chart pattern that you see commonly repeating that you take advantage of? I short into resistance. Shorting into resistance is good. Zombie times are okay with limit orders. If you are a long biased trader, zombie times are where your edge is. If you're a short biased trader, do not even fuck around, man. Don't even fuck around. Yeah, sure, you could fuck around with small size, but is it really worth it? So anyway, guys, I am going to wrap it up for the day. Uh, I'm going to be away in Miami starting tomorrow for a week. I'm probably going to be here trading. I don't know, but I just need a mental reset day. I need a relaxed day. Uh, if you have any questions about MIC, feel free to message us. Feel free to text Tosh at 213-458-5997. If you have any questions about joining or if you want a discount, feel free to email us, Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. And that's basically it, man. I mean, we're going to put everything in the description. I try to add value in these videos and I hope that you guys learned something here. So maybe even an extra bonus. If you guys leave a comment on this video, I'll pick someone to win an MIC shirt like this. 
But yeah, guys, just, just let me know what you think. I'm, I'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible. I hope these videos are adding value. Um, it's fun for me to do, and that's why I want to keep doing it. So thanks, guys. Hope you guys